Hello and welcome to our Power BI video series on Agile Transformation Project. In this video, we will be discussing the important topic of evaluating duplicate employee IDs. As this is a part of a larger project uh, that includes several complex calculations, we will be creating a series of videos to explain each and every calculation in detail. But before we dive into the details, let's quickly review what an Agile Transformation project is. Agile Transformation is a process of organizational change that helps companies become more flexible and responsive to the changing business environment. It involves breaking down traditional hierarchical structures into smaller, self-organizing teams that work in short iterations with a focus on continuous improvement. In an Agile transformation project, there are different roles and structures including crews, boards and others. Crews are groups of teams that work together to deliver a common goal, while boards are the teams themselves typically consisting of 5 to 9 members. These teams are cross-functional and self-organizing with members responsible for different aspects of the project. Now let's turn our attention to the evaluation of duplicate employee IDs. So duplicate employee IDs can cause a lot of problems in a project, including errors in data analysis and inaccurate reporting. It allows us to identify and count the number of duplicate employee IDs so we can take appropriate action. Now let's take a detailed look at the count of duplicate employee IDs formula, which can help us identify and manage duplicate employee IDs in our data set. So what does the uh, count of duplicate employee IDs formula do? So let's try to go and look at the formula that I've created here already. So this is my duplicate employees uh, uh, card that I've created here. So I will just show you the formula that I've written for this evaluation purpose. So as you can see here, sorry. Let me uh, zoom in. Okay, now as you can see here, uh, it's a very complex formula because we are making use of several DAX functions nested together as part of one logic itself. Now, why did I have to go through uh, different functions to be embedded within the same uh, calculation field? And what is the priority and how do we try to uh, decompose or uh, understand why this particular function is being used in this particular requirement now the first formula is the summarize function so what does the summarize function do so this summarize function is trying to create a summary table of the data in the structure data table so here this is my table name as you can see here structure data is my table name and based on which column we are trying to evaluate this based on my employee ID. So we have this table name and followed by the column name here. Now, what are we trying to do here within the summarize? So we are trying to group it by the employee ID column and calculate the count of employee ID by making use of this other function called count rows function. So, so by calculating the count of rows for each group, we are trying to group it by the employee ID column and uh, we are getting this uh, resultant table which has uh, two columns. What are those two columns? Employee ID and the count of employee ID. So let me repeat it. So firstly, I'm using the summarized DAX function wherein the syntax to it is the table name which is my structure data followed by the column name which is my employee id and then i'm trying to evaluate the count of rows within my entire table and that particular resultant has been stored as count of employee id and then based on the summarization the output would be the resultant of two separate columns in a table which is my employee id followed by the count of employee ID which is being computed here. Now we have used another function called the add columns. 
so this add columns function is used to add a new column to the summary table called duplicate count okay so by using this add columns function i'm trying to create an additional column by the name duplicate count okay so now this new column is being calculated using an if statement this one so using an if statement this add columns is going to evaluate and it is going to check if the count of rows for a given employee id is greater than one if it is the duplicate count is set to one indicating that the employee id has duplicates if not the duplicate count is set to zero okay so that is how we usually write a if condition right so we are saying this is my condition where it is trying to evaluate if my count of employee id is greater than one so obviously uh, if my count of employee id is greater than one it is inferring that it is having some duplicate count therefore it is one if not then it is represented by zero which means that there is no duplicate count okay so that is how we are trying to use this add columns function okay so then we have the other function which is the filter function so now initially we try to summarize uh, the table by creating an additional column based on the count of rows within the entire table and we've grouped it by employee id so that we get it uh, so that we get a resultant of two separate columns in our table which are nothing but the employee id and the count of row um, count of employee id and then we have tried to add a, a additional column when through an add columns function where it would evaluate the number of employee id uh, if it is more than one or if it is less than one or i'm sorry if it is one so that has been evaluated by this particular if condition on top of that now we are adding a filter condition or a filter function which is used to filter the summary table to include only the rows where the duplicate count is equal to zero so equal to one so meaning that when it is uh, when the duplicate count is equal to one it says that the employee id has duplicates okay so finally we have the sumx function which is uh, which is trying to calculate the sum of the count of employee id this one sum of the count of the employee id column in the filtered summary table giving us the total number of duplicate employee ids in the original structure data table and there you have it a detailed expression or a detailed explanation of the count of employee uh, duplicate employee ids formula within this particular report so why is this formula helpful in power bi data analytics project well duplicate employee ids can be a common issue in many data sets and it can lead to inaccuracies in our analysis and reporting so by using this count of duplicate employee ids formula we can easily identify and manage these duplicates ensuring that our analysis is accurate and reliable so in conclusion evaluating duplicate employee ids is a very crucial step in any data analytics project and the formula we've discussed earlier is a valuable tool to have in our toolkit we hope you found this video helpful and be sure to tune in to our upcoming videos for more detailed explanations of other important calculations in our agile transformation project report don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel learn at cloud analytics for more informative videos on power bi and data analytics thank you for watching